Plausibly live, not good. I, I thought you got that fixed. Monday, it'll okay. be fixed. Plausibly live from New York. It's a show whose bracket is already busted. Can you believe it? <laughs> Brew needed BYU big time. Well, I, I think you didn't I might have had in? Sweet 16 or Bronny's something. Like guys at Duquesne, man. You got to But then later it. on, I, I, oh, Thursday night, mm. did you survive it? I like that. What do you think oh, a successful okay. season for Caleb looks like? Bears make the playoffs. Okay. So that to the t 10 wins plus, so a three win improvement. He sets the Bears' all time record for passing yards in a season, What's which that? sounds ridiculous, but what then I tell it? you right. it's 3,838. If he averages 225 yards per game, he sets it. So just context Sam Howell and Derek Carr last year would have set the Bears' record for most passing Sam yards Howell in any season. Throw the ball. The, and, he threw for and so the, well, he, some, they both threw for right around 3,900. Sam had some big games, then quieted off, some missed some time. Teams. But so, yeah, I mean, and that we leave the season wondering if Caleb is the best young quarterback in the NFC, which right now would be between Jordan Love, Jalen Hurts, Brew would probably include Brock Purdy. I would not. That's a successful season. Like that, and when I say young quarterback, I feel like Stafford is, you know, nearing the no, end, of and, da and so totally. that is so that like CJ, he would take C.J. Stroud's but, NFC exactly sort of right now. Mantle. Right now, Jordan. I think most people. I I don't know if most people. Some would say Jalen Hurts. Some would say Brock Purdy, and some would say Jordan Love. Like that's the young NFC quarterback triumvirate that he joins that and I think maybe goes to the top of it depending on Jordan Love could ascend even higher mm -hmm. and so that to me those are not unrealistic expectations three win improvement around 4,000 yards and that he's looked at as one of if not the best young quarterback in his conference that's fair well you brought up CJ Stroud I would be stunned if he has the rookie season as C.J. Stroud does. I mean, that was the best rookie season ever. Well, that's right. Right? So he would have to have the best rookie season ever. And that's a, ever. obviously yeah. a high bar. So I, I'm, I'm not saying if he's not C.J. Stroud, I'm going to be disappointed. Yeah. No. But what I see happening, I, I think he will start out fairly pedestrian. All right? But I think it's – and what I want to see if I'm the Bears and what I think is a successful, successful season – is over the second half of the year, it starts to click. And you can see it, right? He's more accurate. He's processing better. He's figuring out when to run more and when not to run. And, and it's really clicking. I, I had the same number as you, 10 and 7. I could see them going 10 and 7 and missing the playoffs. I don't have them making the playoffs. But 10 and 7, I was thinking 3,500 yards, something like that. But at the end of the season – we feel like, okay, I'm not even going as high as you. Like, is he better than Jordan Love or anything? I think at the end of the season, if you're like, okay, he, he's clearly the guy. They made the right choice. They got their future franchise quarterback. They're good. That's, that's your bar for success, just knowing that he's yep. good. in their yep. See, I agree. Because I don't that. expect a ton from rookies. I, I just don't. Do you think that your plan could backfire? Your expectations could backfire? What do you mean? Where if they, you know. If they go seven and ten, well, that the pressure not only that there's external pressure, but it feels like he has, you know, won the Heisman. We talked to him at um, uh, the Phoenix Super Bowl, Super. and he had very high. He's like, I'm gonna try to cut down even more on my interceptions. And I think he only had five, but and he, they wanted to compete for a national championship. That kind of went away. He was very emotional. The that. That, that he might be putting too much pressure on him, that all of a sudden he needs to take the Bears, who haven't been good in a while, all the way to the playoffs. So, yeah, so I Versus, just, just come one final thing. Yeah. Versus yeah, CJ, it was like, see. surprise, Texans are good. So, correct. So, CJ, because he wasn't the first pick, even though, you know, Brew and some other people thought he should have been, and because the Texans have been mired in such football hell, yeah. rotating through quarterbacks and coaches and all of it, he's, if the Texans had gone 7-10, and 10, people would have been thrilled. Mm -hmm. so, you know what I mean? Like, oh, my God. And instead, they were excellent throughout the year. I, You guys know I'm not a quarterback wins guy. So I think, yes, there could be a season where Caleb has a great year and answers the question Bruce talking about, and the Bears do only win seven games. If that happens, then what's unfortunate for Caleb is if that happens, now he's probably going to be on that. It's my second year and my second head coach. Because they brought back Matt Eberflus oh, because be they won those games at the end of the year yeah. because the defense was playing well. And a lot of people in Chicago, because that's what they did to Justin Fields. 
They brought back the previous head coach after, and then after Fields' rookie year, they fire him, and now it's like, okay, new system, new coach. That's one of the things people said yeah. they thought was unfair to Fields. But I don't think if, like, if all of a sudden the Bears' defense takes a big step back from where it was last year, or if the division, like you've talked about, is really, really good, and the Bears don't make the playoffs, I don't think people are going to be like, ah, he's not the guy. No. I think it will be more about how he looks – and what his stats are. Because if the Bears fans, Brew, have been so starved for a good quarterback that if he puts up good numbers, they're going to be thrilled because none of their quarterbacks have. No, I agree. I yeah. agree. None. I mean, none. Sid Luckman. Sid Luckman, Sid in pre Super Bowl era. We talk more about Sid Luckman. Listen, on this Brew show. and I are historians of sports, yeah, man. Are. Like I'm the, in the moment. I'm more Gen Z. Look him up. He's good. I'm more of the TikTok generation. <laughs> Hall of Famer. Yeah, exactly right. Is, yeah. It on, is he on TikTok? Highlights? <laughs> This game's weren't on TV, but court drawings or something. <laughs> Mark Sanchez next. If you missed today's show, check out the podcast. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're subscribed to the uh, What's Right with Nick Wright YouTube channel, please do it. unsubscribe to that and subscribe. No, to hey, first. <laughs> hey! If you have, if you, you there's have not one. a limit. But you, there's a limit of attention. No, just subscribe. It should just be a team. <laughs> subscribe to the After Wild the Podcast YouTube channel. Sponsored by Modelo, the mark of a fighter. Uh, it's time now to lift the ban on puns and allow Brew to flex the headline writing muscles he honed and toned while spilling ink for some of the finest publications in all the land. Yes. It's Monday morning headlines. Nick, you're the opening act. All right, we know in the NFL the lead story for – Every event is what did the Chiefs do? Because they are the imminent dynasty. So at 32, he's a good lad. Chiefs steal McConkey falls to 32. The perfect shifty slot receiver to go along with Hollywood and Rasheed Rice. Terror spreads through AFC. What was a weakness now a strength. Maybe that's wide receiver trio in football. Once they add him at 32. Best wide receiver. I'm just letting you know. Watch Lad McConkey highlights. Oh, watch him. What do you got? Okay. I'm, I got a classic, bro. Really? A classic. Arizona Cardinals. Kyler. <laughs> Kyler gets a new weapon. Marvin Harrison Jr., all of a sudden people say, wow, yeah. Kyler can really play. Well done, Miles. All well right. Done. All right. You, you guys are going to like this. You really are. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, my goodness. Now, look at these subheads. After nixing Russ, uh -huh. Bo Nix. Yeah, we get it. Peyton puts future in hands of Oregon QB. Y'all, well, y'all are underwhelmed. Bo, my goodness. The su after Nixon. Yeah, no, we get I it. Saw that part. It's like Bo His Nicks. name is Bo Nix. It also could have maybe worked for Michael Penix, who has Nix at the Penix, end of his name. Christina I delivered like the bow. I like the bow. I would have done Christina more with the bow. Christina on this. God, bow. I hope you're right about that. Bo, we'll see on Monday. I hope the Broncos take him over Penix. Bo, you want him to take Penix? They got to take a quarterback, right? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.